Vigna aconitifolia is a drought-resistant legume, commonly grown in arid and semi-arid regions of India. It is commonly called mat bean, moth bean, matki, Turkish gram or dew bean. The pods, sprouts and protein-rich seeds of this crop are commonly consumed in India. Moth bean can be grown on many soil types, and can also act as a pasture legume. Moth bean is an herbaceous creeping annual which grows to approximately 40 cm high. Yellow flowers on its hairy and densely packed branches develop into yellow-brown pods, 2 to 3 inches in length. The seeds of these pods contain approximately 22 to 24 percent protein. Due to its drought-resistant qualities, its ability to combat soil erosion and its high protein content, moth bean has been identified as possibly a more significant food source in the future. It has been suggested that its suitability as a grain legume in semi-arid Africa should be further investigated. Description Belonging to the family Fabaceae subfamily Papilionaceae, the moth bean is an herbaceous creeping annual that creates a low-lying soil cover when fully grown. Its stem can grow up to 40 cm in height, with its hairy and dense packed branches reaching a span of up to 150 cm. Yellow flowers develop into a brown pod 2.5 to 5 cm in length, which holds 4 to 9 seeds inside. The rectangular seeds exist in a variety of colors including, yellow-brown, whitish-green and mottled with black. History and geography Moth bean is native to India and Pakistan, grown for food production and as a forage and cover crop. It is predominantly grown in India, although it has been cultivated in the United States, Australia, Thailand and other parts of Asia. 1.5 million hectares of land is used in India for moth bean production, producing approximately 0.4 million t per hectare of seeds. While its presence in Sudan, Somalia and other tropical countries of Africa has been noted, it has not been a crop of great importance to this region. The potential of increased production in this region in the future has been suggested. <laughs> <laughs> Growing conditions Moth bean, a short day crop, is one of the most drought-resistant pulses in India. Grown at altitudes up to 1,300 meters above sea level, it has a wide pH range 3.5 to 10 and can tolerate slight salinity. While dry sandy soil is most suitable for production, moth bean can tolerate a variety of soil types. The low-lying soil cover the crop creates helps prevent soil erosion by preventing moisture loss. Optimum production of moth bean occurs between 24 to 32 degrees Celsius, but has been shown to tolerate up to 45 degrees Celsius during the day. Growth is optimal at a constant temperature. The moth bean is one of the most drought-resistant pulse in India, requiring little irrigation for production. While optimal annual rainfall for production is 500 to 750 mm, it is able to grow with 200 to 300 mm annually, and some yield has been noted at rainfall levels as low as 50 to 60 mm per year. Propagation of moth bean is done by seed, preferably on a prepared seedbed, at an optimal temperature of 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. Fertilizer applications to moth bean are uncommon in India. Other farming issues Moth bean is grown for both human consumption and as a forage crop. Currently in India, moth bean is grown on its own or intercropped with other cereals, such as pearl millet. It is also grown in rotation with cotton as a forage crop. When grown as a forage crop, it is planted 7 to 34 kg per hectare, and 10 to 20 kg per hectare when grown as the only crop. Row planting should be done 30 to 90 cm apart, with seeds sown 2.5 to 4 cm deep. It takes 75 to 90 days for moth bean to mature, and is frequently planted at the end of the rainy season. A drawback to this crop is its difficulty to harvest. Mowers cannot be used due to the shape and density of the moth bean's branches, so the crop is typically cut with a sickle. It is threshed and winnowed after being dried for approximately one week. Hay yields from this crop are 7.5 to 10 t per hectare, while forage matter yields range from 37 to 50 t per hectare. 
Seed yields are currently low, ranging from 70 to 270 kg per hectare. However, research shows that this crop has the potential to increase in yield. Experimental seed yields of up to 2,600 kg per hectare have been recorded in the U.S. and Australia. Major pests and diseases Moth bean is impacted by mungbean yellow mosaic virus, for which silverleaf whitefly is the vector. Root rot and seedling blight from Macrofamina fasciolina also causes damage, as well as some Striga species and the nematode Meloidogyne incognita. There are some resistant cultivars to these pests and diseases. Topic: Genetic stock. Little breeding work has been completed on the moth bean, but researchers have found that there is substantial genetic variation between moth bean germplasms. The National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources in New Delhi, India, houses more than 1,000 accessions. Some improved cultivars such as CZM2, CZM3, RM040, and RM0225 are available in India. Human consumption Whole or split moth bean seeds can be cooked or fried. In India, particularly in the state of Maharashtra, moth beans are sprouted before cooking and used for making a spicy stew called USAL. They can be used for breakfast or other meals. The USAL is essential part of the popular dish missile pav fried dal of the bean is used for making a savory dry snack, in India called dalmud. The moth bean pods can be boiled and eaten. The flour of the bean is used for making another savory snack called bujia. It is believed that consumption of the seeds can help treat a fever. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Animal consumption. Moth bean is also consumed as a forage crop by animals. Topic. Nutritional information 100 grams of raw, uncooked moth bean seeds contain 343 calories, 23 grams of protein, 62 grams of carbohydrate and 1.6 grams of fat. As is the case with other legumes, this pulse does contain antinutritional factors that limit available protein. However, research has shown that the moth bean contains considerably less of these factors compared with other legume grains, making it a more beneficial choice for consumption. Soaking and cooking moth beans before consumption helps to break down antinutritional factors and makes the protein more digestible. Topic: <laughs> Constraints to wider adaptation. While its drought tolerance and high protein content could make moth bean a potential crop choice for semi-arid Africa, a lack of management knowledge and the difficulty of harvest due to its density and creeping nature could make its spread to other parts of the world difficult. Further research into more. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Practical tips. Cultivation information of this crop is limited. Some of the most in-depth information on moth bean is available from the Plant Resources for Tropical Africa website. Additional information, including a farm case study, can be found at the website of the Indian Council for Agricultural Research. See also Bean